loving this. And I get people that come to me all the time and say, I love music. This is what I want to do for my life. And again, it goes back to, okay, I get that. But are you willing to then put in the work? Because it is a lot. And honestly, a lot of the times that artists I don't work out is because I don't want to be a babysitter either. Like I shouldn't have to call you multiple times a week and then sit there and wait for a response. Like yeah, if you're ready sure. to go. And I've had that happen to, with, I've gotten a lot stricter. People will be like, well, what band do you manage? And honestly, if it's no one, that doesn't make me any less of a manager. It means that as you're looking for a manager that has your back, I'm also looking for a band that has my back as well and understands the the time and resources I have to put in that aren't getting paid. You know, I'm not getting paid for. Whereas, and and the band could break up next year. You know, it's very it's very hard and difficult. So, if I work with you, it's because I believe in you 100. Yeah. percent You ha- you as a manager have to be invested. Yeah, and I always am. Anyone yeah. that I'm actually willing to sit down and sign a contract with, I obviously am. Yeah. But obviously, I like to have that one year kind of no contract, no nothing, just no strings attached growing period. Because I, I do also think a manager needs to be like, like you were saying, uh, Vanna, the like almost like a, the backbone of the band or like a best friend, a mentor, or like a sixth member of the band. I like to consider totally. myself like a sixth member of the band where this we're in this all together and we all have equal say and we're doing what's best for the band. I just happen to have the business knowledge or be willing to, you know, choose someone out if I need to, you know, to because they didn't treat you well or we didn't get paid what we were supposed to get paid, you know? Well, if you think about it, too, it's like before bands even get to the point where they have a manager, it's like someone in the band plays the manager role. Yep. So it's like now you're just at the point where you can, you know, have someone else to to help you with those tasks and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think it's really important to like have that like give and take and like to have that um, best friend vibe. You know, that's like mm-hmm. genuinely what I want is like someone that yeah. I'll text back and forth and shoot the shit with and talk and get excited. Like, yeah, like hype like, each other up and stuff. You know, because like so, yeah. like you know, th- that's just how I am. Is like I just get excited about everything because me I just too. like to take the moment in because these things that are happening to me they don't have to happen tomorrow's not promised the cool show last show i have next week might not happen so let me enjoy it today you know what i yeah. mean so like i i like i i just take everything as like just something to be excited about you know yeah and like um i think also for you too like coming from the the fan perspective of like going to these shows and stuff like that and cool stuff is like happening um just at the rate that it happens it's like really important for me to kind of pull myself back and like stay grounded you know you were like talking about your parents that's like one thing my mom always says to me is she's like you know i want you to always take in the moments because you know it's the journey that's the beautiful part of like because you don't know what's going to happen you don't know where you're going to end up you know Mm -hmm. and um my parents are very similar to yours. It's like, you know, like I, I had a degree that was completely not to do with music and I got a break to do a, a record deal and my parents just totally supported me and they come to every show and, you know, they're like always wearing my merch and stuff. And it's I think I cool. met them. Um, I th- did did I meet them at the Ballyhoo show when we played in uh, Long Island or at uh, that one, that Maybe one bar? I th- yes, you, you, you met, I think both of my parents were there actually. I think yeah, so. yeah, my mom had a few was people there. there. Yeah, like my whole family comes to all those like Long Island shows and stuff. But yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, exactly. So my mom will like show up to these shows like in Vonalia gear and stuff and like stand really (laughs) close to the front of the stage with her iPad. And she's like, people are coming up to me. How do they know I'm your mom? And I'm like, oh, because you're so cute. 